Hello, hi, welcome to a new video. I'm Jacques. This is Mr. Pink Ink, and it is today the August the 3rd. It's a Saturday. <laughs> and we are going to talk about my August TBR, which is late. Um, and I'm only late because I was waiting for Magical Readathon. But Magical Readathon is going to be postponed until September. So I was floundering around for a while, I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to read? I have no idea. But then, then I remembered that we have a readathon that happens four times a year. It also happens in August. So let me just backtrack and go do a readathon TBR. Readathon hosts will be tagged down at the, in, in the description box below. It's by Manda the Biblio and Mom's Book Collection. Um, yeah, they do this four times a year. They also do New Year's of fun, I think, so do check those out. Okay, so um, this is the bingo grid, as usual. Um, it's a mix of reading prompts and non-reading prompts. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, and we are just going to concentrate on the reading prompts in this video. Um, I'm currently outside and it's winter, so we've got the washing you you're not going to see that that's fine um, it doesn't get dry it has to actually dry hang for like three days because the temperatures are 15 degrees it's not warm okay so we have to we have to <laughs> my nephew is inside making music because he has a show tonight so that's why i'm outside um so please excuse all the outside noise there's nothing i can do about that um okay so, what are we going to concentrate on first? I don't like... Anyway, let's have a look. The first prompt is... Choose a book based on the colours of your last read. Okay, so the last read I had, my last book I finished uh, in July was this one. The Mur Murder in Limit by... Remedy Feist and Joel Rosenberg and that's the series I'm on um, I chose this book because it had kind of a, a monochromatic theme this is a book two I had to read book one as well which broke the theme but this this fits okay so that's fine so um, we're gonna go with Black Sunlight by this person I, I cannot pronounce the name yet I do apologize I don't want to murderize it again like I did in my previous video um, see you see? Mm. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Um, this also falls the category read a short book. This is like 170 pages, 180 pages, um, and also a book that nobody talks about. Because mm -hmm. this is African literature. Um, this is part of the Heinemann African Writers series. And it has a new home at Apollo Africa. Um, you can read it there, post read. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for this one. Lu, lu, lu. This is the first book of my TBR. Um, I am going to be switching between my camera and the actual finger grid. <laughs> Just to see what I'm going to do. Um, I do need to also get a dice. I need to find one. I'll get that just now. Um, next thing. Oh yeah, next thing is um, continue a series. Or finish a series. I'm going to finish a series, and I'm going to finish the Legacy series by Melissa Dalport with book three, The Legend. I finished. I read book two last month, and I read book one a year ago, a year before that. It's actually really good. It's dystopia, super soldiers, um, a rebellion, la la la. South African author, set not in South Africa. This is a book three. You can pause to read if you like. If it doesn't make sense, this is because it's a book three. Dun, 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 dun. This is also qualifies for a book that nobody talks about because even though this is book three, nobody talks about the series. Um, so there's that. Okay, uh, we skipped the one. Um, what was that one in the corner now? You see, now I just remember, can't remember. I just saw it. But the other one we skipped is um, 
read a book with the word like in the title now please if, if anybody knows if you tell me and help you can and there's a list please link it down in the video in, in the description box below in the comments because not even google can give me a list of book titles with the word like in the title so sorry and a book with a great first sentence i will choose that afterwards no well, because we can double up just so you know and triple up if we have to so that's awesome um yeah mm -hmm. okay then we have to read a book with some queer rep which now i'm going to go with the silence factory by bridget collins this is also from jonathan ball thank you very much as well as black sunlight um you can pause to read for those of you who know bridget collins this is my first Bridget Collins novel. I do have the betrayals inside. I think I think that's what it's called. One second. One second. One second. <gasps> yeah, or the binding one of the two. I have I have that inside as well. So looking forward to this one. This is very fascinating. Um, and the main character, Henry, is going through a bi awakening. I am currently reading this one. Uh, which is why which is why I know that there is queer rep and um, also I think in the diary of Sophia I think Sophia is also bisexual or you know whatever because they both married or were married and so on and so forth and they have now feelings for the same sex so that's why I say by awakening um, yeah so I'm currently reading this one I'm year through I'm almost you know about one quarter to the end ha 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 I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. But spiders though, it's always spiders. Okay, so that was for that prompt. I'm also, I mean, this can f the prompt for choose a book for the cover purely. And I mean, how gorgeous is this one? Uh huh. Then on to actually choosing a book based on the cover. And we are going to go with. Goddess Crown by Shade Lapite, 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 I do not know. Shade. I'm sorry about this person. Um, you can pause to read. This is courtesy of Pan Mac, Milan, South Africa. Thank you very much. Love the smell of new books. And these were for the July August highlights. So looking forward to that. This one also came with a book monkey and a little postcard. -y. La la la. And a little letter from the author. How cute is that? So, yeah. So, that is what we're going on. Let me just check the other prompts quickly. Mm, okay. Uh, then we have the prompt for. Read a book that you thrifted or borrowed or got from a free library or a library, whatever. I don't have that. I do have books that are thrifted. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'm in the middle of a bunch of rereads. Um, for example, Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Parsi trilogy. What's going on? Um, and I read this a while ago as part of a reread which I started and then didn't continue so I'm going to go with book two in the past year trilogy this is Royal Assassin also by Robin Hobb um, that's not much to read mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to find this on audio on YouTube so hopefully all thumbs for me so, but anyway we're gonna go with that I got book one so I can just read the last bit to remind me what's going on in book two and um, um, I only want to do that. Um, the other prompts. What are the other prompts? Oh, read a poll pick. I do not know what those are, where the poll was. I haven't seen the poll. Um, if anybody knows that, you can link it down for me and I'll go and check it. But if I do find it, um, I will see how that goes. Maybe if I have one. I don't know. Because I got no money. I don't buy books. I'm not go I don't go out specifically to buy a book just because I need it for a prompt, is what I'm saying. Okay? Hold on. Oh, and then there's read a book in your least read format. That's currently ebooks for me. Um, between 
audio books and physical books. Why why would I read an a, an ebook when I can read a physical book and I'm running out of battery? Um bye. Okay, so I have been to go charge my phone for a little bit. Um I have no idea where we were last. I'm sorry I don't know how long it took. So anyway, this is going to be my TBR as well as a ebook. I don't know what that is yet. Um, oh, I lie. I'm on tour. I'm on tour for Pride Book Tours on the 20th of August um, for a duology for these two books. I'm sorry, I don't know them all right here off the top of my head right now. Um, so I'm going to be reading those two books for tour on the 20th of August. So do check my Instagram. In my blog for Hello, this. hi, sorry about that. No, it's not quite the end yet. There, there are a couple of things I forgot um, to add in this video. Number one being the pole pick and number two being roller dice. So, <laughs> I found out about the pole pick. I need to put a poll up on social media or Discord or wherever um, asking about which book I should read. So, I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then I want to go dig out, dig out a dice. <laughs> this is all I could find, I, you know, so we're going to do that. Um, if I roll an even number or an odd number, it depends on what I'm going to read. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to go check on that right now before I flip this, then I'm going to flip the camera and we're going to roll the dice. Okay? Yeah, okay, so even numbers means that I must read my newest book and odd number means I must read my oldest book. So let's go, let's go. Mm. Let's have a look. Hey, that's four, so that's an even number. Um, and then specifically from my TBR, this is my newest book from Jonathan Ball. This is the oldest one that I've had um, in this list. No, no, I lie. This is my oldest one. But anyway, I digress. We're going to read that one anyway. Ha, 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 ha. So yeah, that, that's all the prompts that I have. That's going to be my books. Um, do let me know what you're going to be reading in August. If you have anything you want to read. If there's anything you hope to read. Um, let me know if you want to go buy something you've got an eye on in August. That would be great. If you also have a video, a TBR video. Link it down below for me. I'll definitely check it out. And I will come and comment on there. And yeah. Um, it, I would say warm Cape Town. But it's not. It's only 16. Um, and I'm literally got a jacket that I'm going to put on right now. <sighs> uh, yeah, it's a sunny day, but there's no warmth really. So, yeah, it's the last month of all of, 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 of winter. Yay, the last month of winter. I'm so happy I'm a summer baby, but it's still going to be a while before it's going to be warm though. <laughs> anyway, love you. Bye.